How's it going, everybody? It is your boy, the one and only Chaos Gamer. And yes, we are back with some more My Hero Academia Ultra Impact. And in today's video, it is finally time for us to take on the Ultra Boss Medico. We're going to be seeing whether or not we are going to beat her. We have three attempts to do so because that's how many attempts I do it every single time that we take on these Ultra Bosses. And if we don't beat her, that's a GG go next. But if we do beat her, that's a nice 80 gems on my account. And we can save those for another time. So... With that being said, let's not waste any more time. Let's build this shit right the hell up. And ladies and gentlemen, let us get started with today's video. And you guys can let me know down below in the comment section. Did you beat her or did you not beat her? I want to see the gauge on, you know, how people are doing so far in this Ultra Boss after my video. So that being said, let's get started. So this is the first team that we're going to be bringing into the match. Let's just find a good friend lead first before I show. Oh, Miriko. I might... Mm. I might take her. Oh, never mind. I found All Might. <laughs> I was hoping that we could find a level 100 All Might. That is something we love to see, ladies and gentlemen. Love to see. So this is the first team that I'm going to be bringing. You guys already know why I'm bringing this team. But for you, those of you who don't, the reason why I, I'm bringing this team is because I want Kirishima to take all those hits. I want Midoriya here because he does decent enough damage and he's a blue character. So he should be able to take at least a little bit against these two. We'll have to wait and see. And then you guys already know why Baku goes here in the first place. I don't even have to explain why the guy is always here. We got, um, I almost said Momo. We got Oraka for support. And then we got this girl just in case she's able to dodge. And she also has to dupe in her damn self. So might as well take advantage of that fact as well. All right, let's go. God, I love her model in this game. My God, and how cocky she looks. All right, so now we're going to wait for a good minute because we got to get all those buffs in for everybody, including her. All right, now Endeavor's turn. Oh, still her turn? My bad, I didn't know that. Now, if it's the same as we took on in um, the very hard difficulty, she should have dodged a lot, and that's going to be very annoying. So hopefully we can get through that and just kill her as fast as possible so we don't have to deal with that. But, oh, man. All right, let's just start with this. No, no, no. This, this, and then this, because I forgot I could Bakugo the anniversary support me now Midori. Midori has something completely different. All right, hit it with the speed debuff, but she dodged it. As long as she's dodging everybody else but Bakugo, I'll take that. Alright, how much damage are they doing so far? Hmm, that's a lot of damage so far. Damn, our boy Kirishima's taking some damage. Alright, so... No, 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 no. We'll do this, we'll do this, and then we'll do this. We need that counter and the barrier back. Nice! Okay, good timing right there. 23k, that's earth damage. But we are attacking our Endeavor, which we need him to get weak a little bit. Alright, now we got both plus ultras. Hopefully... You know what? No, no, no. I'm gonna wait till next turn. Because if I activate All Mights right now, I feel like she's going to dodge Bakugos. And I don't need that right now. All right. She did her Luna Ring. Jet Burn. All right, Bakugo. Come on, pop off. 72k. I'll definitely take that. Now she's going to dodge this one right here, which sucks. But it's whatever. We need that dodge to go away now. Look, it's like every hit after the first hit that she takes, she dodges. Oh, my God. Our boy's going to die right now. Damn it. All right, so we'll do this. We'll do this. I wish I could decrease speed. But that would even work against that. All right, let's just pray to God. Let's go. Come on, my. I need a nice 40 or 50k from you. Please. 24k? What? You're level 100? Come on, my guy. There's no way that just happened right there. But now we got our girl Oraki here. We're going to activate the dodge first. And then after that, we're going to see if we can get the skills back the next turn. So we're able to get action skill cooldown time. All right. Nice. A little more XP as well. We're able to see. But she dodged the hit, Sally. Okay, nice. Okay, she has dodge. So, perfect, because I could do this, waste Midoriya's, then we'll activate this, and then we'll activate this right here. Let's go! Come on, team. This is basically like some of the main characters being here right now. So, this is a whole squad, a whole unit. Alright, 12k on Endeavor. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Damn it, she has um, this thing. We could do this, and then we could do this. No, 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 no. I have to activate Orakas by herself because if we activate it like that, then she's gonna dodge the second one. Okay. That's such we don't get the defensive drop either. Oh brother, this girl is on us today with these dodges. I hit. Did I get rid of it? Nice, I got rid of it. Let's go, let's go. Oh, Midoriya died. No, Midoriya. But we did get a nice 95k right there. Let's go. Alright. Now she has bullseye, so even if we dodge, she's gonna still. Oh, no. Damn it. Somebody's dying. Somebody's definitely dying. Oh, Bakugo, nice. Good damage, good damage. Okay, who's she hitting? Okay, as long as it's not Bakugo, we'll take that. But sorry, Uraka, you have to go. 
I don't think we win this one. I I'm just gonna be straight up right here. Uh, no, she's dying. Maybe we could clutch it up. Maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, get the camouflage. She's not dead. Oh no! Yeah, it's over. There there's no way that this girl's gonna clutch up and win it. But you know what? Let's see. Let's see. Yep. No. Ah. All right. This one's looking pretty hard so far. Let me switch up to the second team and let's go run it back. So here we are with team number two. Now, I know you guys already see the character in the back that you guys are nodding your head like, huh? What the hell did he bring this guy for? Hey, you never know. His dodges might come in. Actually, no way. His dodges might not come in clutch because we know that she has bullseye and she's going to be hitting through the dodges. Actually, let me make one minor adjustment. So who do I want to put instead of him? Man? Uh, You know what? Let's still add another free to play SR character. Let's add our girl Momo. Screw it. Let's see what happens with now that we have her on the team. So... As you guys already saw, a little bit different. We got Uraka in the front now, so we can get the dodges way more earlier, and Kirishima doesn't take as much damage as he needs to. Alright, so let's go. No, warming up. That's what we were doing. Warming up with the first match. Maybe I should start attacking Endeavor a little bit more, so we don't have his jet burn freaking cucking us every time. Yeah, you know what? Let's start with that. Okay, so another thing that we know about this match now is that we cannot attack Endeavor right now. Wow. Thank God we got Bakugo once again for that AoE. So let's start popping off like this. Um, Hold on, because I got to think about it right now. Give me a second. So let's say we activate this right now. Kirishima's going to get his hit in, but Bakugo is not going to get his hit in. But if I activate All Might plus Ultra right now, then I could do it to where he, she's going to take the hit, dodge Kirishima, and then after she dodges Kirishima, Bakugo's going to get a hit in. We'll do it like that. All right, let's go. Alright, nice 40k to start off with. Dodge as well. Dodges the hit and then gets the hit. Alright, as you guys see, the pattern is starting to make sense to us. Nice. Alright, that's no damage to us right there. We're doing Ida so far, nothing crazy. Now I we'll activate this in this fashion. One. Two. And then bam, three. Nice. Yo, that endeavor takes no damage at all. Does he have damage down by like 90% or something like that? My god. Alright, so how do we want to do this now? We could activate Bakugos plus Ultra now. You know what? Let's do that. So we can just start getting damage in. Alright, how much damage we can start with? 90k. Woo! Let's go! We're starting to get that pattern down now. Let's get it. Alright, 2000. That's nothing right there. But he is burned. That sucks. Uh, who's going first? She's going first. That's something I don't want. We'll do this. Wait. No, we have to wait till next time. We'll wait till next time. I have an idea that's gonna happen. So we're gonna act them. What? Oh my god, this guy got cooked. Kirishima, what is up with you, my boy? There's like no way. Oh my god, if we have to make the third team, I'm definitely taking him out. He is not doing his job at being defensive at all. Oh my god. Okay, now she got the bullseye effect, which is stupid. But now we're gonna start doing more damage over here. She has the dodge. But we get to do this, and then get a nice little AoE attacking. And we get our own dodge. Sorry, Midoriya, you're not going to be hitting at all. Nice, dude. And please, don't die. Don't die, don't die, don't die. And she's died. Damn it. Okay. Let me get myself familiar with what she does. So, decrease the opponent's speed by 20% 50 turns. Decrease catch skill impact. Okay, and then what does this do? Increase the speed of our allies by 20%. Low chance of getting burned. Oh, that's perfect right there. Because if Endeavor tries to burn us, that's not going to happen at all. I'm hoping that's how it works anyways. The copium in me is hoping. All right, don't take damage. Good. All right, come on, come on, come on. Yes! We could probably kill her next turn. Get rid of the dodge. 12k, 12k, 32k. All right. I think she's dead. For free. There's no way. Come on. Bakugo. Get her, get her, get her, get her. 72k, but she lived her last stand again. Oh, my God. Relax. Oh my god, the fact that she has stupid evasion is annoying! Please don't attack him, please don't attack him! Damn it! And GG's for our second team as they get utterly destroyed. The fact that she has last stand and evasion at the end is so annoying. And the only character in the game that I know of right now on the top of my head that gets that goes through evasion is our girl Mount Lady, who's not even type effective against this. But she will be definitely the type of person you want to bring into this. She will probably get the job done a little bit faster. If she had that Bakugo effect, oh my god. Utter destruction. But let's cut here. Let's bring our final team into this and see how we're going to play it out.
All right, guys, so here it is for our final attempt. Now, I did say I was going to get rid of Blue Kirishima, but I'm just thinking in my head and looking at all my possible options, as we can see right here, and I'm just like, I have no choice. I have to bring this Kirishima. No other character on my roster is going to be able to do what Kirishima does, which is take hits for us. I, I need him to take hits, even if he dies right away. It's better having that than just dying ultimately, so... That being said, let's go into this and hopefully we can win. If not, it's just a tough life that we live out here, man. It's just that with the DX board now, these modes are getting even harder. So when you pull for a character, hopefully you get another dupe of them. That's definitely what I'm going to say right there. All right. We got to wait 50 years for her to charge up so we can actually start the fight. All right, she's done. Thank God. At least in Endeavor, he's a little bit faster. You know what I found out by reading the strategy info before we started this match? That we cannot attack Endeavor until she hits 50% below HP. Once she is 50% below HP, then we are able to attack her. Another thing I found out about this girl right here is that if we don't have a character that boosts his speed or decreases speed or is able to hit through dodge, we're just ultimately screwed. That's it. <laughs> it just sucks that I don't have the right characters for this mode. But at the end of the day, that's a gotcha game for you. They want you to pull for the newest characters and the bestest of characters so you can take on these types of events. No, we'll, we'll save it to later. Oh, another thing as well is that Shoto is level 110. So I'm expecting a lot of damage from that man. I pray that he does a lot of damage. Alright, good. That's not good. Please, Kirishima, live. I need you to live horrifically long. Like, it's not even a question. It's a demand. Please live long. Oh, nice. 23k. He's gonna dodge that, but I just care about building up the damage. Alright. Good that he's getting a little bit of damage on her. This is Midoriya. Okay, no. He's going first. Good. I don't care if she dodges Midoriya, but Bakugo definitely has to be the one that hits the damage here. He's the one that's carrying us right now in terms of damage. Alright, whatever. Counter. Miss. Nice. How much HP does that boy have? Not that much to live for. <laughs> definitely not that much to live for. Uh, You know what? Do I want to activate it now? Let's activate it now, school. Let's see how much our boy's going to do right here. That's a nice... I didn't even get to see the damage, damn it. Ooh. And with that, our boy Kirishima has rested in peace. Sadly. But now we got our girl Uraki here once again. Making a grand appearance. Right, let's do this. We need to build up the power. Thank God we dodged. Oh my God. That would have been the death of this man right here. Utterly GG go next. Alright, get rid of the dodge. Hit this. And then we'll do this right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good, okay. We'll do this and then activate. No. It's not gonna work like that. Actually, it will, because I need the healing. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Okay. Get rid of the dodge. AoE, that sucks right there. But we do get 99 offer. We get the healing here, thank God. Okay. And now she activated her destroy mode, which will basically make her OP as hell. And then she gets activated plus ultra frame one. So somebody else is going to be dying here besides our boy Midoriya. So who is it? It's our Gaizo anniversary Bakugo that has to go to the Shadow Realm. And with that, that's basically GG's because there is no way that a support type is going to finish off both of these characters who are basically still at 4 HP in my eyes. Miriko is still at 4 HP. If it ain't zero, it's still 100. And with that, that's what we're going to end today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Let's not end the video yet. Let's do a single. Let's see if we're able to pull something here. Let's try on the anniversary box banner once again. Come on. Give me something good. Give me some hope here. Ooh, that's definitely hope. I'll take that after the shaft of <laughs> losing. Come on. Give me something. Anything. If you give me Blue Shoto, I will grind that man to the maximum degree. And I promise we're beating that damn event with no hesitation at all. Please, if you give me Blue Soto, I promise I'm beating the event. Come on. Come on. I know the animation still looks bad, but I want to believe before I have to go in there with the tickets. Please? We got this Blue Shigaraki that's, like, utterly useless against that event. Like, this man has no value whatsoever to that event at all. But with that, that's what we're going to end in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and comment if you want to. You don't have to, but it's always greatly appreciated. Also, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below again if you did get to beat her or not. I feel like a lot of people didn't get to beat her, to be honest. If I'm utterly honest, a lot of people did not beat her. But with that, I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Peace. Stay tuned to the channel. We got a lot more stuff coming up this weekend in terms of summoning and some funny PvP showcase videos that we're going to have fun with. 
So with that, peace.